How's it going, pipe drivers? It's James again from PipeDrive, back at you with a look at what's improved with PipeDrive in the last 30 days or so, just in case you missed it. And this time around, most of our updates are actually for all of our pricing plans. Starting with the goals feature. Now this is a great way of keeping track of your sales objectives and ensuring that you and your team stay consistently on the targets that keep your business running. Now, why would you wanna set up goals? Well, frankly, why wouldn't you wanna set up goals? Goals are an essential part of growth and without them, it can at least feel like the work that you're doing isn't really accomplishing much. And that's just because of the missing direction of what it is that you want to achieve. This can be a really important factor when it comes to keeping you and your team driven and motivated. You'll find the goals feature under your insights. You can set goals to keep track of your deal and activity progress, and users on the professional plan can also set up goals related to revenue forecasting. You can configure goals for the entire company or individual users. You'll be able to monitor them in real time, and you can add it to your dashboards and share it with the rest of your team. What's really neat about the dashboard is that you can apply quick filters that will enable you to see the same report and goals for different users on your team. And like I said, for professional and enterprise users, you have revenue-based goals you can set up. This means you can set up revenue-based targets for yourself and your team and keep track of them over time. Remember, this is based off of the expected close date you should be configuring in your deals. You can use the forecast view to quickly update the expected close dates on your deals month to month and make adjustments on the fly. And that's true for all users across all pricing plans but it's only the professional and enterprise plans that get this cumulative forecast report and goal tracking abilities. Also in your insights reporting, you can start using a custom date period on your reports and dashboards. We also made a few improvements to the way you import spreadsheets in Pipedrive, assuming you have the admin rights, of course, but now you no longer have to leave your import just to create custom fields that match the data in your spreadsheet. Now let's talk about what's new with leads and lead management. Over in your leads inbox, you may have noticed that we removed the extra sub menu and we moved categorizations of your leads to the same area as your filters. It's kind of simpler and less crowded, right? If you work with leads a lot, then you'll be just to know that workflow automation is now compatible with your leads inbox. Head on over to your workflow automation to see some inspiring templates already but you probably already know you can configure customized templates to your needs. Now, as a simple example, let's say after you're done qualifying a lead, you update its label and you schedule the usual follow-up activity. Then you send an email. Now, what if you could automate all of that? You can create a workflow that sends that email to the lead's email address whenever the label is updated or change to a specific type of label. Plus, it'll schedule an activity for whatever makes most sense for you. And hey, If you're a fan of Zapier and need to connect leads and the actions performed for leads to other software across your tech stack, now you're gonna be a happy camper. Last of all, you may be interested to know that we had a live webinar discussion where we revealed a sneak peek into the improvements coming your way in 2021. If you missed it, check out the link to give it a look. And that wraps up this month's update, everybody. As usual, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, pipe drivers.